Hello and welcome back to my channel you're watching what Helen reads and I am Helen and today I'm going to be talking about some books that are on my TBR. I was going to call this like TBR for September but um, the fact is that I might get to some of these books before the end of August. We're only currently on the 18th of August but there are quite a few new releases that have recently come out. I haven't managed to get to them yet and they are definitely a high priority. <music> So I've got 11 to share with you today and the first one is Burned Dreams by Never Altaj. This is a mafia romance and it's book seven in the Perfectly Imperfect series. Now I've been loving this series so far, I've read the first six books already and this one came out on the 27th of July so it's a relatively new release. Um, I do absolutely want to get to it, I just haven't had the time or the inclination to do so just yet. My understanding with this one is that we are following Alessandro and Ravenna and this is kind of a bodyguard sort of romance uh, with a bit of a twist. So my understanding of this one is that Alessandro is an undercover bodyguard working for um, a particular mafia organisation. In fact he's working for Ravenna's husband. So Ravenna is actually married so this is also potentially a cheating romance I don't know if there's actually cheating in it if he kills her husband before he gets around to being with her but my understanding is very much that he is there to seek revenge uh, kill her husband and maybe even kill her in the process um, and I guess he doesn't end up killing her because it's a romance right so my, my assumption is they get together um, but it'll be interesting to see what happens how he resists uh, if he resists and um, how they end up together. So that is uh, number one uh, on my priority list for sure. So the next one is Illicit Air by Maggie Cole and this is book three in the Mafia Wars Island series. This one actually released on the 15th of August so just a couple of days ago from when I'm recording this. Um, it's available on Kindle Unlimited um, and this one is I believe an enemies to lovers like an accidental pregnancy. And we're following one of the brothers from this Mafia um, Wars Island series. Um, he is a rival uh, Mafia family to the lady he ends up sleeping with. So I believe he goes to a pub one night in Dublin. He has a one night stand with a lady. And then before that, uh, before that evening is over, uh, she realises who he is. And then he's absolutely horrified uh, because he's a rival. Uh, he's basically, you know in a rival mafia family they part ways but she finds out that she's pregnant and they end up obviously i'm going to assume back together now i was going to read this one as an arc but i didn't reply to maggie cole's assistant in time so i didn't actually get a copy of the arc so hopefully i'll get an arc for book four um, but i absolutely want to get to this one soon and make sure i leave a review because i love maggie cole's um Mafia Wars series overall um, and we'll definitely be picking this one up. Sticking with the Mafia theme, um, another new release is Wild Ace by Rebecca Gannon and this will be book five in the Carfano Crime Family series. Um, it was um, released on the 17th of August um, and I have really really enjoyed the first four books in this series as well. In this one I believe that the heroine has uh, given up um, score or has at least put her education on hold to support her granddad who looks after a deli um, but she's been really really working hard to look after him and he basically convinces her to say you know you're still young go out have fun have a night out don't worry about this place and so she goes out and has fun uh, and she kind of bumps into Vinny and Vinny is basically part of the Cofano Cry family um, they have a night, I believe they have like, a, this is another one night stand, they have a night, one night stand and she finds out who he is um, and then tries to stay away um, but Vinny is not going to let her go and he kind of makes sure that he's there at every turn and she just can't get rid of him. So I don't know if it's some sort of stalker romance or just he's just not going to take no for an answer, I'm not really sure um, but I'm definitely intrigued to pick that one up. Then the next one is Siren by Misha Stone and this will be book four in her after end series this is a fairy tale retelling and this one specifically is an mmf little mermaid retelling and that actually came out today the 18th of august so um i really like misha stone's writing overall and i've really really liked the after end series which has got um a variety of different fairy tale retellings i love fairy tale retellings and her um 
first book in this series, Beast, is The Beauty and the Beast Retelling, which I absolutely loved. So really, really uh, glad to see that she's uh, continuing with this series. There's been a bit of a gap between book uh, four and five, but she's uh, got a few more, I think, that she's going to put out in this series. Um, and I'll definitely be picking it up and reading it as soon as I get the chance. And sticking with a fairy tale retelling theme, um, I am... Uh, really keen to read Temper the Flame by Anna Fiore and Amy Penza. Um, this is an MM Beauty and the Beast retelling. So this is book four in their Beautiful Nightmare series. And so they've been sort of doing dark um, MM uh, fairy tale retellings. Um, so far we've had um, uh, Little Red Riding Hood, uh, The Little Mermaid and uh, uh, basically Rapunzel and this one is going to be Beauty and the Beast so this is the one I've been waiting for because as you know Beauty and the Beast is, is my absolute favourite so I'm really looking forward to it it comes out on the 24th of August so just um, a week away and I'll be diving into that as soon as I get the chance and then um, I've got another book by Anna Fiore so this is one it's just that she's written um, by herself and it's called Ten um, and it's book three in the Temple Maze series. This one comes out on the 31st of August. This is the third and final book of this series. And basically it's been an interesting sort of dark romance. It's sort of um, like, like fantasy, paranormal. The main heroes are all kind of werewolf shifters. And the concept of this one is that there is a maze which is basically a prison and these um, three brothers were trapped inside this maze um, forced to do horrible things um, and um, in book one uh, the heroine kind of goes in um, rescue like shows them a way out of the maze essentially and then they're kind of uh, they're kind of the overall plot and everything has been going from there and so this is a uh, ten story he's one of the brothers um, he's had a pretty rough time of it through the series as a whole um, and um, in this one we get to see his uh, relationship and his happy ever after so very keen uh, and excited to read that. So back to Mafia Romance and I am hoping to read Shattered Secrets by Lillian Harris. Now I've never read anything by Lillian Harris before but she's got quite a lot of different Mafia uh, romances out there in a few different series um, but I have... Um, I'm expecting to get an arc of this one. Um, the book itself comes out on the 7th of September and I think we'll get the arcs uh, like a week before or maybe two weeks before that release date. Um, and so I'll definitely be reading this one before the 7th of September. Um, I don't know much about this one. Like I said, I've never read anything from this author before so I'm sort of going in blind to this but I'm hoping that I'll really enjoy it. And as far as I know, it's a mafia lawyer amnesia romance. Um, and as the blurb was sort of described, it's that this um, woman is loved by two men, her husband and the husband's best friend, but she's only in love with the husband until one day he disappears. Everyone thinks he's dead, uh, but she believes that he is still around. And I think either he comes back and has amnesia or something else happens. Uh, but ultimately she starts to uncover that maybe her husband hasn't been telling her everything, that he's been keeping secrets. Um, and um, I'm assuming uh, there's some sort of love triangle that's going to go on um, and or she's going to end up with the best friend. So I'm not really sure. I, like I said, I don't really know any more than that, but I've got, I'm, I'm hoping to get an arc of this one. Um, so I'll definitely be reading it as soon as I get it. Um, it's probably the only guaranteed read out of all of these to be honest um, because um, I, once I've committed to reading an arc I absolutely make sure I do that before that and, and leave a review before the date so I'll let you know how I get on with that and then another new release that I'm highly anticipating it's going to come out at the end of September the 28th of September is Fall Into You by JT Geisinger which will be book two in the Morally Grey series it's going to be available on Kindle Unlimited and in this one we're following uh, the brother of the hero from book one and his name is going to be Cole. Again, I don't know too much about this one but I believe it's going to be another kind of one night stand scenario. So I really love JT Geiginger's uh, writing. Um, I very much enjoyed book one in this series so um, I am highly anticipating the re release of this one. Another one that I really want to get to quite soon and this is not a new release 
um, but it's called A Lesson in Blackmail by K.D. Robichaud. It's a stalker romance and it's also a novella, I believe. Now, the reason I want to pick this one up is one, because um, it was recommended by Jen from the Book Refuge. She's recommended it on more than one occasion. It's been on my TBR for ages. But then she also mentioned it again in another recent video that she's done. And I remembered that it was on my TBR and I decided to bump it up uh, the list and um, the main reason is because I'm preparing to record a stalker romance recommendation video and I thought actually if this is a short novella I can probably squeeze it in before I record that video in which case I can include it hopefully if I enjoy it and it's really good uh, which I expect it will be if Jen has recommended it then I can squeeze that into my video as well and let you guys know all about it and if I'd recommend so I'll probably read that pretty soon, maybe even this weekend. So the next one that I really want to get to is Sea of Ruin by Pam Godwin. So um, I have had Pam Godwin as an author on my radar for a long time. Um, I knew I really, really wanted to get around to reading something from hers and I did want to read Sea of Ruin. So that has kind of been on my TBR, the one I had my eye on. And because in the month of August, there has been the historical romance, uh, well, the romance readathon but you get extra points if you read historical romances i thought it was a perfect month to read sea of ruin however i found myself in uh, a place where i really really fancied uh reading a captive captive dark romance and so i was very intrigued to read um another book by pam called deliver um and i I was particularly intrigued by that one because it was a it was a, it was a bit of a twist on the normal cap captive situation because it was actually the female character who captured um, the male character in that one. So um, I just really, really fancied it, got stuck in, and boy, was I glad that I did. It was absolutely phenomenal, absolutely loved it, dived straight into book two in that series. And so Sea of Ruin is definitely on my list. I'm hoping to get to it before the end of August so I can add extra points uh, to the uh, seductress team score um so i may read that in the next couple of weeks we'll see if i get to it or not and um, but i'm hoping to but if i don't then i'll for sure read it very soon and so the final one that i'm kind of want to prioritize in the next couple of weeks um is sinners anonymous by some sketcher i believe it's a fi forbidden uh, love dark mafia romance so right up my street um this one i've seen it's been recommended by other booktubers again it's been on my tbr for a while but i've bumped this one up the priority order and plan to read it um in the next couple of weeks if i can also because it's been recommended by um someone that i was chatting with as part of the romance readathon as well who highly recommended it so i again it was one of those where i thought oh yes that is already on my tbr um it sounds really interesting let's move it up the list um and prioritize getting it to it sooner rather than later so there you have it that's 11 books that are high priority hopefully i'll get to them in the next couple of weeks over the next month i'm not sure i'll get to them all um, or what order i'll get them to in because usually i only read about 15 books a month so if i read all of those that's pretty much a whole month's worth of reading um without a lot of wiggle, wiggle room and as i said at the start i'm very much a mood reader so i need to be in the mood to read some of these um but for sure i I will absolutely read um, Shattered Secrets because that is an arc, like I said. Um, I'll definitely read Fall Into You as soon as it's available, but that's not until the end of September anyway. Um, a Lesson in Blackmail I'll probably get to this weekend, um, and then who knows about the others, but I'm sure um, I will update you as soon as I've read them and let you know my thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Um, please comment in the comments box down below if you've read any of these or would recommend any of these or if to let me just know what's on your priority list or some books that you think you're going to get to in the next couple of weeks and if you want to see more content from me please subscribe to the channel thank you very much and i'll see you next time bye thank you very much i'll see you next time see you next time if you've read any of these if you would recommend any of these and um, what i'm doing another one that i really want to get to like i mentioned at the, uh, the start of this one is did i no i didn't i mentioned that in the video i've just recorded so i've totally forgot what i've said and which video i've said it in i really love jt guidance and 
Temper the Flame by a Amy Pe mm. Ooh, Should we just start that from a scratch? Hello and welcome back to my channel. You're watching Helen. You're watching Helen. No, I'm Helen. Yes, you're watching me.